good afternoon, wherever you are. It is currently like 8.30 in China and I just went for a run this morning. And it was super hot. Got back rinsed off and now I'm just gonna find something to eat and it's probably gonna be a weird combination again. Last night actually we had a Chinese friend come over and she taught me how to make a traditional soup or porridge that they that's really popular here. It's called Ba Bao Zhou, um, which means eight treasure soup. And it's mostly eaten for dinner, but it's so sweet. Like we put huge lumps of sugar, this red sugar in it. So it's really good and I think perfect for breakfast. So um, I'll show it to you. It looks really weird, but it's so good. And hopefully I'll make a recipe and post it on my blog. Kind of looks, so it's got black rice, uh, red beans, peanuts, lose focus, uh, and then tons of water and like four other really weird like lotus seed, some other weird stuff in it. Um, so yeah, I'll put that on my blog at some point. It's really easy. You just kind of chuck it all in the pan with some water and then let it just cook for a really long time until it gets thick like a congee. Congee? I don't know how you say that. So I'm actually going to eat this over some cold sweet potatoes because that's what we have in our fridge and it sounds good. I know you're all probably gagging but I'll show you the finished product which won't be pretty but you got to trust me that it tastes amazing. It's like dessert for breakfast but it's made of mostly healthy stuff except for tons of sugar but um, yeah, I'll show you the finished product. You guys, this soup is so good. It's like candy. It's like straight up sugar. Oh my goodness. So sweet. And full of, um, yeah, the black rice and the red beans, so full of protein. Whole grains, and then it's also made with glutinous rice, I forgot to mention. So good. So sorry for how gross this looks, but it's gonna taste amazing, trust me. Here it is. The sweet potato is topped with a super sweet rice and bean soup. So weird. Okay, so I'm also just having some black tea, but I thought I would take my first bite of the sweet potato soup combo in front of you and we'll see. Cheers. Mm hmm So sweet. Last night after we ate it, I was like, I need salt. So I like had some crackers. We'll see if I need something salty after this. It's so sweet. So good. I hope you guys try the recipe out once I get it on my blog. The thing I love about it is that it doesn't have to be eight ingredients, that's why it's called eight treasure soup. You can also just make it with the simple ingredients that are easier to find in America, like the black rice and the red beans and the sugar and water, and then you'd be set. And it'd probably taste, I don't know, I haven't tried it with just four ingredients, but I'm guessing it'd taste pretty similar, so. All right, I'll see you guys for lunch. Okay, so it's lunchtime. I was just out doing a review walk and I haven't had Chinese food except for this one balza in like a couple weeks so I just started craving it and I was walking by all these stalls and they smelled so good. So I bought an eight quiet meal which, well we'll see how hungry I am. It could be two meals and eight quiet is about like a dollar fifteen cents. It's so cheap so I'll show you what I ended up getting. I got four kinds of veggies and tofu so in here we have some pumpkin looks like it's steamed looks like there's green beans here these are green beans um, down here is some if I can get it dried tofu which is one of my faves what else did I get oh and at the very bottom let's see if I can get some to show you or just some greens Brr so hard with these chopsticks so just some sauteed greens so and then over here is a massive thing of rice and pickled veggies I'm called pal thai if it'll focus there we go so over here we have some rice and some pal thai so 
So I'm just gonna probably eat it out of these containers. Maybe just put some in here and grab it. But I'm pretty excited about this. It looks delicious. Probably be oily and spicy, but that's okay. It's been a while since I've had Chinese food, so yeah, I'm gonna dig into this and I'll show you what else I eat later. I'm also gonna add some nooch in true faith fashion. So for some dessert, I'm having one of these energy bites that I just make with oats, ground flaxseed, peanut butter, sweetener, and whatever add-in. So this time it's raisin, so it's kind of like an oatmeal raisin cookie. And then, of course, my black tea because, yeah, I'm addicted. with some friends and I'm gonna bring my own food and I'm making again the same um, Oshiko's crab pleasing Caesar salad that I've made in another video because I just love it so much so I have the dressing here and I'm gonna put some of that on just let me show you a huge bowl I don't even know if you can tell how big this is let me see if I can show you yeah it's pretty big and so we got like a whole big head of lettuce in there, some carrots, some red onions, some cucumber, and then I have some chickpeas roasted, roasting in the oven that I'm gonna top. So I'll show you the finished product. So all of this I have to fit in this Tupperware, so it could be a challenge, but we'll make it work. And I'm pretty excited about it because I love this salad and I'll also top it with nutritional yeast. I'm not gonna make like the cashew nutritional yeast crunchy topping that it calls for but just do simple today because it's just me and yeah i'll show you the finished product when i'm done oh my goodness you guys i am so excited about this just look at those crispy chickpeas and the nooch and then i just toss the dressing and the salad all together in a bowl so everything's coated oh i love this salad seriously Oops, sorry. You need to give it a try if you haven't. It is so good. If you don't like salad, I'm not even a big fan unless I go all out like this and make a good dressing and have good toppings. But look at this. Should be, good, should be a good meal and I'm sure all the Chinese people I see will think I'm crazy to eat this much raw salad. Maybe even my American friends too. But I am so excited about it. Um. Yeah, so this will probably fill me up for the rest of the day. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't actually been that hungry today. Or if it's super hot too, I'm like constantly sweating. So I think this will fill me up for the rest of the night. And so I'm gonna sign off here and get going to hang out with my friends. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a lot of Chinese food, so maybe you thought it was interesting to see what I order or have in my fridge just as yeah, living in China. So if you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss any more, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!